don't we just love technology? <laughs> good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world tuning in today. This is Valerie M, aka Maxfield, standing in my truth. And today's show on a Thursday is always all about you. And my guest is already here. I didn't even bother to put him in a green room. He's already here. Yeah. <laughs> Lawrence M. White is in the house. How are you doing, Lawrence? I'm really good, thank you. Uh, well, as good as you can be in all this COVID malarkey, but yeah, in Fantastic. general, uh, yeah, happy, <laughs> kicking on. I can see that. And I know that you're extremely busy. So for me, I'm absolutely grateful that you've taken out, you know, just at least half an hour or 40 minutes of your time to actually speak to me and let my public know all about you. So without further ado, I just want you to say a big greetings to everyone out there. Say hi, Lawrence. <laughs> What's going on, people? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Told you, I'm very unorthodox. I'm not like all the others that you've <laughs> been with. You know, you know, Valerie's got her own sort of ways that she does things. But look, I'm going to jump straight thing. We're in lockdown and I know you're a busy man. And how I did find you was through social media, uh, where your paintings popped onto the Instagram screen. It was just amazing. I mean, I mean, the realness of your brush strokes are striking. And a lot of people, I mean, I know you've got uh, people from all over, but I've just found you. And I've been, it's brilliant. Since so from August, it's been amazing just watching you go on. So the first question I'm gonna say is to you, um, were you always an artist? Uh, no, so I've only taken it up in the past two years, um, and it was kind of alongside my um, my day job as a TV producer. Uh, so really? I come out of university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight years ago. Um, Shut up. Sorry, that's my Essex coming out. University in Loughborough, which is. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I live a bit more rural Essex, but but uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, I was at Loughborough, which was a Midlands university, and then, yeah, jumped into TV for a family friend, kind of was working my way up um, through that, and then kind of on the side, I was painting, which has kind of led to it getting bigger and bigger, I guess, on the side, and I've been able to grow it alongside doing that job. I can't, I'm just sitting there looking, going, he was a TV producer, he knows how this all works, what <laughs> what the hell do you know what I mean yeah so what sort of programs were you doing what yeah I've had, some, I've had some experience yeah what kind of programs were you doing um so I was kind of mainly uh, reality tv and oh. uh, entertainment tv so Britain's Got Talent X Factor The Jungle Can... um I do a lot of uh the NOA's Essex Towie um Geordie Shaw excellent I mean can, relief, I, can I just do my yeah, Essex yeah. thing again? Shut up! <laughs> I mean, that might need a little bit of work, but... <laughs> yeah. No, that, but yeah. I, I actually live in Essex. I'm an Essex girl, so let me just say, shut up! Oh, oh. I <laughs> yeah, no, I'm an Essex girl, my dear, so I, too, I do kind of understand that, you know, the throngs of that. Okay, wow. So, so for eight years, you literally... So, painted on the side... Um, but what made you come into your prominence now? Because you must have said to yourself, oh, is this what I'm going to do? Am I always going to be a producer? What was the cutoff point that made you realize that this is what I want to do? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, just to, just to kind of be clear on it, I guess, I was in TV for eight years and I was kind of doing all different kinds of bits and nothing was really sticking. So I started or tried to start like a jeans company, started trying to do a little bit of property, that kind of stuff, but nothing really stuck. Had a lot of, I guess, failure in doing that stuff. Um, and then I was kind of, um, because in TV you have contract work, so you're freelance, so once one show comes to an end, you, you'll probably have a gap between that and another show, or if sometimes you get them to line up and stuff. So you often have a quite a bit of time to um, to kind of do your own thing as such. And um, I like working, I like staying busy. Um, and literally just one day, I was working on Big Brother at the time, actually, and I was just like, I'm going to see if I can still paint, because the last time I painted was at college 
10 years prior. Um, and so I was just like, look, I'm going to give it a go. And what happened was I painted a picture of Kanye West and Did um, you? a friend who had just been on Love Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A friend who had just been on Love Island had kind of gained a big following from being on there. Um, he ended up buying that painting and he posted it on his social media. This was like two years ago now. Yeah. And from there, I've kind of just carried on really. This kind of one thing's led to the next and yeah, so, I guess here, yeah, so here we are. I, so even though you were in TV, because I want to go back to, you know, did you go to college to learn or university to be an artist, a painter? Is that what you started out doing? So where did the painting come from? No. This was just visually. <laughs> yeah, so it, growing up and kind of through school and, and, and college, I kind of, without, I mean, I always sound a bit big headed, but I didn't drop a mark. Um, so I was always kind of the best or one of the top people in the class and stuff. So I always knew that I could kind of do it, but I wouldn't say that I ever loved doing art. I was just good at doing it. Okay. Um, and that kind of, yeah, so at the end of college, I had the decision um, to kind of bypass the, the there was um, at the time it was a uh, what to call it it's a um, foundation year in art and so you have to do that before you go to university but because of my grades and stuff I was able to go straight to the uni oh, wow. which kind of led me to yeah having to make a decision of whether I go in straight into doing that or do business uh, which is a bit more kind of a, I guess of a proper proper degree um, and so I ended up going with something which was a bit more stable and, and went on to Loughborough to, to kind of study business and that was the end of it really um, and from that point finishing college um, yeah I just didn't paint and so that's kind of t uh, eight years on from finishing uni uh, it was kind of like a sudden oh let's see if I can still do it you know and that was the Kanye West po uh, painting that you did then. And that was two years yeah. ago. So my God, so literally you, it was like, and you were, that, that's when you realized you got rejuvenated. Is that correct? You absolutely just got rejuvenated from the Kanye <laughs> West. You must've been because I can't understand yeah. how in two years, it, I need to put some of your paintings up. I'm gonna put some across the <laughs> screen. I just have to, um, this is one of my faves and, um, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Yes. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, when yeah. was that? When was that? Uh, that was last year, I think. Twenty, the start of twenty twenty, like okay. March, April time, I think. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Well, I am. That's I... probably yeah. It's probably the biggest person I painted for, in fairness. Um, almost internationally known, anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. There's also a guy called Philip Philip Plein, who's not really known in the UK, but. He's um he's probably as big as well no maybe not as big but he's he's up there with kind of the big ones so yeah <laughs> I I obviously I I shared um a bit of uh, when you did this one this is the one that just sold me this is the one that just broke me to be fair love my bit yeah of I don't even like that painting <laughs> I'm sorry to be fair but I don't even like that one <laughs> but Shut yeah up. how dare you yeah sacre bleu no yeah. uh uh how could you not? <laughs> I love that. The shading's concept. wrong, so that's why. <laughs> so you, uh, there's various other images I'm going to show, you know, as we go along in this interview. So here you are, two years on, you've now done this Kanye West and you're prolifically painting. Now we're in 2021. And so take me through the progression. Did you actually, once that painting went ballistic, I'm going to use a word, um, <laughs> did you decide to then stop everything else that you were doing? No work? No. Or did you continue painting and work? Yeah, definitely. I think that, um, or the movies, or do you know what I mean? Like, there's this kind of like, oh my God, you blow up type moment and you just quit everything and you go all into it and stuff. But I think given that the time that we're in at the minute, especially, it's kind of all a bit uncertain and stuff. And it has been in TV as well. Like it's been on a bit of a decline because obviously less people are watching TV and ad revenues and stuff. So I've kind of been aware of like kind of, uh, and, and plus when you're working in TV, you're freelance. So it's always a bit more precarious than like a steady job. Absolutely. So it was always about being just sensible with it and kind of, like I said, doing it on the side, doing a lot of late nights. It's probably why I got the, 
can't we uh, can't see it we can't see it unlike me i've got the glasses on for the late nights big difference yeah. big difference <laughs> but yeah, yeah paint... so it'd be like going to work yeah. and then um yeah coming home and painting in the evenings or before work and stuff you know how long does it take to do one photo uh, not photo um actually let me re let me get back to where i want to get to do you how do you pick your muse because you do more abstract your paintings are abstract who do you pick because these are iconic people that you choose how do you select and say okay i'm going to paint them because they're beautiful the yeah. brush strokes are amazing <laughs> what's your inspiration yeah, sure. So, I mean, the kind of that will I am one that you just showed there, that's a bit more abstract, but I traditionally do kind of portraits in a bit more kind of fine art now. Ah. And so I'm just, re yeah, so I'm just really fascinated by success and what it takes to kind of be successful and um, kind of reach the upper echelons of society. And so I paint people that have also done that. So, so Adele, Kobe Bryant, uh, Michael Jackson, all these type, Lewis Hamilton, yeah, that you're popping up there. Yeah. All these people have kind of made it to the top of their respective fields, and I've kind of always been interested in that. But right. um, for the most part, like I've been lucky. Like I said, when my friend did post that, I um, I kind of had commissions off the back of that, and so for a lot of the work that I have been doing up until now, where I'm producing a lot more volume, a lot of the commissions sorry a lot of my work was just commissions i.e people would tell me what they want and i would go and paint that i would only i don't necessarily do a lot of kind of family portraits so i'm a bit selective with it but i will For paint sure. a yeah. figure or whoever you know, that, that you're looking looking to have done sort of thing so great and do you have a setup at home is it because look we're in lockdown and it is difficult and as you're saying even though you're having commissions and you're still painting how long have you got a setup at home or do you actually have a studio that you can lock yourself away and do all this <laughs> i mean so i have a studio and it is my second bedroom so i mean oh <laughs> i won't move the camera set up because uh, yeah. it's uh, hey, Kofi. <laughs> poised yeah carefully on um, a projector right now but uh, yeah i'm in my second bedroom at the moment and this is my studio so I think um, eventually I will move into an actual proper studio. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, it'll. it'll but this, I mean, this stuff for now, I mean, to be fair, I actually like the ability to be next door and then just go and start working. Whereas you have to be, you haven't got the same access or whatever, you all can work as late, you know, a lot of yeah. my work kind of late into the night. So, um, so yeah, it's something to think about, but, but yeah, at the moment it's my, it's my bedroom, <laughs> second bedroom. Well, I, do you know what? I actually, um, what's the word I should say? I identify with you because I have my own studio at home. So yeah, I, sure. I, I mean, literally you yeah, gotta make it work. <laughs> yeah, I converted my bedroom yeah. into <laughs> a full working studio, and um, I never forgot when my friend came and goes, "Well, where am I supposed to sleep?" And I thought, "But you got your own home. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming to my yeah. house to get changed. <laughs> you know, you fuck off and use the bedroom or the bathroom." So I totally understand that. Do you know what I mean? How yeah. long in all your paintings how long does it take you because you say you work into the night how long can one painting from conception take yeah sure so a painting which measures one meter by one meter takes about 35 hours i actually what? got it in front of me this book yeah this book that um you'll see in my instagram sometimes i literally write down um, my hours so that i know roughly how long it takes me to do each painting and so, yeah, that's roughly how long it takes for, for a one metre by one metre. Wow. And it, it just allows me by jotting that down to then quote for, for work going forward, like how long that's going to take and, yeah. and that kind of thing, you know. Is that a consistent 35 hours, though? You do take a break, right? No, no, no. I'm, um, I've got a real short attention span. I, I mean, I tend to work for like, say, two hours at a time. Okay. Um, just because I've found that yeah, doing two, two and a half hours is about enough. Anything more than that, it just becomes, um, I'm not as productive. And so it's best to just have a little break and then come back to it rather than just trying to beat a dead horse. Um, 
and keep going regardless you know yeah as you can see i've put you i've got a photo of you being productive at home <laughs> don't know if you can see that <laughs> making it work yeah 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 you certainly have been okay as i said to you we're in covid <laughs> you're commissioning have you ever prior to before we actually went into full lockdown did you teach do you teach mm -hmm. go have classes that you can teach people to um paint yeah sure no, i did um at the very start when i started painting i i did do one class um it was called drink and liquor uh no paint and oh, liquor I or something like that. that anyway i did run one class huh? oh i heard of that oh right <laughs> i think i didn't hear what you said uh yeah yeah so that was that was good fun um i enjoyed it and stuff as well but um they've kind of gone away or they're not doing it as much now but um no, I'm much more focused on doing my own work and stuff. That's not to say that I wouldn't teach a class, but it's just not really something that I'm looking to kind of focus on, um, you know. Yeah, just your thing. Um, so right now, I know for a fact you have moved off a bit of your mix week. You've now got your own website. We'll come back to that handle and let people know that's where you are at the moment. But there was another question I wanted <laughs> to ask you. So I now that there's things that you told me that I, I thought I'd, researched you bang on but obviously you're telling me more than i needed to know for people who are out there who like yours you know who's had a passion for drawing or painting and being creative in that manner but has never taken that step what would you advise them what's the advice you'd give to them i mean it sounds a bit cliche but it's literally just to do it i think that I kind of took it for granted, though, that that's easy to do. I think that where I've kind of been in TV for a long time and and seen kind of the celebs and person like the influencers that you work with, they're just so conditioned and, and it's just normal being around the way that they do things. So, you know, you're doing something, you get your phone out and you just put it out. Yeah, that they deal with kind of all the haters and, and comments and blah, 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 but it's kind of just normal. And so for me, that's also become quite normal as well. Um, but if you can push through that, then on the other side of that is the kind of the gratification the success or of the, it. at least the start. Yeah, exactly the start of it. So I think that um, I think as you get older as well, like or as I'm getting older, I just don't care what other people. Sorry, I do care and I really don't care, you know, like as in I'm going to do it because I know it's for me and you're not going to pay the mortgage. But at the same time, I care what you think because I don't want to, because I, I, I like to be liked, if that makes sense. No, I do. I do. And I mean, to to be liked, people need to see the, the human side of you and actually identify mm. to see what your painting's about. Because, you know, you've got the Mark Bradfords and, you know, there's loads of different galleries and I can I can scoop of a load of artists out there. Um, but for me, as someone who's not a painter, but like to look mm. at art, um, it's always try nice to know about the person who's creating that art. Um, and it's, qu it's quite funny that you're mentioning about people. I can't imagine people hating on you. I really can't. But I know what it's like to have Trust that. me. Trust there, me. <laughs> there's those people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I know that there's one thing that I did see that you're doing because you've got your print cards and everything going out there. But as I said, we are in lockdown. How have you coped with it? Because when you're not painting, what else do you do? I mean, what else can you do at the moment? I think that I've found this second lockdown a lot. I call, Yeah, I mean, I know this is the third one, but this is like the, kind of the second most serious one where kind of everything's locked down. I found it quite difficult. Not mentally, I feel like I've been doing okay because I've kept myself occupied. Um, but what I have struggled with is I like going to the gym and I just feel better. You know that feeling kind of once you've done a workout and stuff or, yeah. you know, and you, you just you just feel like I don't know just better in yourself. I don't know is it endorphins or what it is. But you just feel better in yourself, yeah. and so that's that's kind of getting to me in this one in like sorry in this lockdown. But but to answer your question, I've just kind of been staying busy, and uh, me and my girlfriend more of us uh, often go on walks and stuff to like at least get out of the flat, you know, because I think that it can be very insular being in this situation. But if you wasn't painting what would that hobby look like what say we weren't in lockdown and you weren't painting what are the other things you like to do 
Oh, yeah, sure. So, I mean, I'll spend a... Yes, I like my fitness. I like I went to Loughborough Uni, so kind of I'm always been into sports and stuff. So um, I play play football at the weekends. Uh, well, <laughs> the old knees are going, but um, yeah. Is that your I'm excuse? Is that your excuse? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, gym, gym, football, um, and yeah, trying to. I, I mean. I, I think that I spend so much, I'm so, let me start again, I'm so determined to make this work that I've kind of not put my friends aside, but I've just been focusing on this. So it's kind of a little bit sad, but I've just been working. Um, it's not sad. And I'd like to get that balance back. No, where I, it's not sad. Sorry? This is your passion. Yeah. This I'm, is your work. This is your job. Yeah. And sacrifices have to be made. That's yeah, sure, I and uh, yeah, exactly, and uh, yeah, and I'd love to get a bit more balance of like meeting friends and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really hoping that if I can just put in a couple more years of of, of real hard work, where it's literally like non-stop art, then I can not take my foot off the brake, but at least kind of distribute my time a little bit more. Um, you know, to 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 loved ones and and, and friends, etc. And they'll understand. I'm sure they'll understand because they can see the journey. I'd like to think that they can see your journey and this is where you're at at this present moment in time. Um, what is your uh, things that, who motivated you as an artist? What was your motivation doing art? I think you know, I, this is a really, really hard question for me to answer because I think that I keep hearing people like, what's your why? What's your why are you doing this? Why are you i don't um, want to know why i just want to know doing. who motivated you <laughs> yeah. yeah but i, I think it, I, I think somewhere in that art in that um question is the why but i don't fully know that i would say that i am i've got this um i'm okay at doing art and i want to reach my potential and kind of max it out is probably the best way i can give you some sort of answer t to that question is anyone else in your family artistic um no not really my mum my mum is is okay but not like yeah she, she's the most creative one i'd say but yeah i love the way you went she, no my mum she's creative but not really not good and hopefully mum doesn't hear you say that yeah no she is she, she's got yeah she's got <laughs> she has got a good eye give her give her credit <laughs> well look I want to know, I'm going to show up so many, some, you know, a bit more paintings because I know that you've got to dash off and I wanted to just catch you to at least let people know a bit more about you. Here are some more of your paintings that you have actually had out there, which Elon, I yeah, love no, no, it. No, 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 yeah. Oh, I love, love it, love it. Uh, I also, <laughs> this is one of my, um, that is just bad. Brando. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the one that you're sitting behind at the moment, which is Kofi. So folks, where would tell everybody where your handler is and where can they go to your website to find these awesome, awesome portraits? Yeah, sure. So uh, it's Lawrence M. White on everything so lawrence uh, m white dot com mm -hmm. and then lawrence with a u m white across all social media platforms so so yeah I, I try and keep it that way to keep it you know the consistency across platforms and so that you can find us um on all of them sort of thing but yeah there, there are a few of the pieces there's a couple of my favorite ones in there that michael jordan one as well is one of my one of my favorites but um yeah that's where you can find me Lawrence, I know that, as I said, I know you have to go and I'm just grateful that I was able to catch you at this space. <laughs> I've, uh, you've answered more than I needed to either know. What I want people to understand is if you want to commission the paintings, the website is there. You can actually go on to Lawrence's website, have a look. Uh, great. I mean, the one that I want was nearly like uh, Kate Moss's one was like two thousand pounds, but um, but he's got others that I'm sure that people mm -hmm. can have their budget in and have a look. But they are <laughs> worth it. They're absolutely worth it. I do. I did have a photo of um, 
the one that you've done for Trent Arnold that plays for Liverpool. Boo! They're playing at the moment. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> please tell me yeah. you're not a Liverpool supporter, are you? No, West Ham. <laughs> West Ham. Oh, well, Liverpool's playing West Ham at the moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and that was a beautiful photo that I thought that he'd done. People, please check out Lawrence M. White. He's also on Twitter. You can see some of them there. But if you go in his gallery, also check him out on Instagram. Lawrence, thank you. As I said, it's I just wanted to catch you peacefully today. Um, and <laughs> I will be checking out the rest of the painting. I do know what I want. I've actually had a look and um, I'm going to commission. No, I actually have seen what I want. So I'll no, hold I'm you to that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm being serious. I already know. It, you ain't holding me to nothing. I already told you. <laughs> 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 Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Um, and I will catch up with you on the other side. Good night and God bless you. Speak to you soon. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, it was my pleasure. Take care now.